Hi, my name is Chelsea and I'm a size 16. I started out at 240 pounds and I currently weigh 192 pounds. And I'm currently training for an Olympic triathlon with dreams of completing a half Ironman next summer, 2022. I am two weeks out for my Olympic triathlon and I feel ready. I do have days where I'm really nervous and feel like I'm not ready and it's not gonna go well. And then I have days where I'm just like, okay, let's do the dang thing. This week is my last week of training before my taper, which starts next week. So next week, I'm just gonna be doing some walking and some strength training, but I'm not gonna really be doing much of any running or biking or swimming or any of that. I wanted to talk about the whole food plant-based diet for a little bit because I cannot believe the difference that I feel in just a few weeks. I have lost about 10 pounds in like two and a half weeks, which you might be thinking, well, yeah, of course, because you're triathlon training too. But I had been doing a low carb diet for two months while I was doing triathlon training and my weight actually went up and then it plateaued for a full two months. It did not budge. And then once I switched to the whole food plant-based diet, my weight just dropped with, like I said, 10 pounds in like two and a half weeks. <laughs> Sorry. Grady, um, he had all of his teeth removed, all but five of his teeth removed last week. He also got neutered, and he also got a mass removed on his back. I don't know if you could see. Poor guy. So he just needs to be held sometimes. Otherwise, he's trying to claw at his, at his cone. But what was I saying? Anyways, I am two weeks out. I feel really good. I'm, I'm getting increasingly more excited as I get closer to the date. And yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling good. All right, it's in the 90s. I'm running up hills. My pace is about 13 minute pace, 13 minute mile pace, which is good for me. And I'm just doing a quick three mile run. And I'm jamming to Olivia Rodrigo on full blast. I stand Olivia Rodrigo. Trader Joe's haul. Um, I got whole wheat pita bread, um, organic Ezekiel bread, um, more whole wheat pasta. This is pretty clean salsa. There's only a few ingredients in that. It was the cleanest one I could find there. Um, more maple syrup, tons of beans. I got garbanzo beans. Um, that's actually corn. Uh, organic kidney beans, refried pinto beans, but this is without oil, fat-free without the lard, white kidney beans, black beans. I'm making black bean burgers tomorrow for dinner, so that, and then a tomato for dinner tomorrow also, and then some more dates, and then these I got for my triathlon, actually, to kind of snack on um, while I'm doing the triathlon. These are also only two ingredients, apples and mangoes, so got a couple of those. Okay, I had plans to run six miles this morning, got up early, got my hydration belt, um, and I made it two miles and I had to stop. You know, every once in a while I just have a run where I just am like, nope, not today. So I'm gonna try to do my long run again on Saturday. Um, I have not swam uh, for a couple weeks and my shoulder is actually starting to have these weird like spasm things. It doesn't hurt as much anymore, but it's definitely still not where it should be. 
Um, I contacted my insurance about looking into physical therapy after the triathlon, and that's a go. And I actually found like a sports rehabilitation physical therapy place right by my house, which is perfect because I wanna get it into shape to train for a half Ironman. I'll keep you guys posted about that. Oh, it just started raining out a little bit. asked me out to the farmer's market today. So we went on a little date after work and we got some goods. I'll show you when we get home. But I'm kind of excited about all these veggies. All right, our farmer's market haul. Oh, it's so beautiful. So we got a bunch of tomatoes, radishes, beets, and then I, don't, I forgot what this guy said these were called. I don't think I've ever seen these before, but it's some kind of like tomato and they're really sweet. He actually was like, here, try one, try one. And we tried one and we're like, yeah, we're definitely going to buy those. They're really good. Um, but I can't remember what they're called. If I find the name, I'll list it below. But super, super good. Okay, I attempted to make um, black bean burgers. Uh, they don't look so bad right now, but let me show you what they look like in the pan. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. I haven't tried them yet. Maybe they're good. All right, it is Friday. I just got off of work. Um, I am actually not feeling too great today, so I do not plan on working out. Tomorrow I do need to try to do six miles because my triathlon is next weekend. So I'm going to make some vegan, oil-free, whole food, plant-based pizza tonight for dinner. And if you're wondering, wow, you guys have pizza and pancakes every weekend, to that I say, yes. Oh. There's a cute boy. Found him in the wild. I think I'll take him home with me. We are going on a little hike this morning. Just a couple of miles probably. It's beautiful morning. I think it's what, in like the 60s? What did yeah. you say? 60s? Uh, upper 50s. Upper, up, upper 50s. Upper 50s. And then we gotta run some errands later today. I also have to try to run six miles at some point today. Maybe tonight. But the weather is really nice. And so far, no bugs, but it's still pretty early and it's a little chilly, so maybe that's what's helping that. If you are keeping up with my bike saga, Brian, my, my husband, was so sweet. He brought it into the shop for me yesterday. And the back tire was split open and they had to replace the tire and the tube. And then they said the front one might also do the same thing soon because it's um, it's a 30-year-old truck bike. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that. I got it for free from a coworker, and I love it. It's such a nice bike, but definitely needed it. Um, a couple little updates to keep it moving. So um, so we got the front and the back tire replaced just in time for next week. And I'll take it for a quick spin this week, but um, it's already a big improvement from, um, you know, just a couple weeks ago, even before the tire was split. I was starting to notice it was getting kind of hard to ride, so. <laughs> craving a hot dog today so we bought these tofu brats and they're it looks kind of sad because it's on easy peel bread but you know they're a little bit processed I mean, there's a lot of ingredients in there but it's still you know we're trying okay i thought i would do another thrift store haul there's a thrift store that's like 20 minutes from our house that is like a, we call it the bag thrift store. You fill up a bag for $3. Usually I don't find anything there that I like, but every once in a while I find some cute stuff. Today was a day where I found a couple of cute things. I got this little shirt and then just a plain tie-dye shirt. It's actually Shein brand, so it's not like a homemade tie-dye shirt. I don't know. I thought it was really cute. And then I just got a plain tank top that'll wear under stuff. And then I got this cute jacket. Oh, it's got fuzzies on it. That, those aren't stains. They're just fuzzes. But, oh, it's so cute. And also, it might be worth mentioning that I am a size large now instead of an extra large in tops, which I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, I'm walking to the beginning of the mile markers. This is my last run before 
my triathlon next weekend. Um, so I really have to make it count. There is a nice breeze, so hopefully it won't get too hot. Um, my watch literally just now went off. <laughs> so I got 10,000 steps and I haven't even started my run yet. Um, so hopefully I can get through it. <laughs> I just ran. Oh, I'm scared to look at my armpits. Oh, they don't even look bad. They're like chafing so bad. They hurt. They're burning. I just ran eight miles. I just feel good. That's the, there's an elementary school behind me. I, I'm walking in the parking a lot, a little bit before I get to my car because my legs are stiff. I, um, I don't know if I was experiencing runner's high at mile two or if I was just feeling very proud of myself, but I was on the verge of tears for like 15 minutes straight. <laughs> oh, you guys, I just feel so good. I just feel great. It's a beautiful night and I kept my pace the entire time too. So I'm just, I just feel really overwhelmingly proud of myself. Sunday. I am actually really sore today for my long run last night. I actually didn't sleep well at all last night. I think I was all hyped up for my run. So uh, we're just taking it easy today. We ran a couple of errands, but for the most part, we're just going to chill. Um, I actually have a really busy week this week, so it's kind of a good thing that I don't have a lot planned for training. I will still put out a video next week uh, before my triathlon and then I'll do one after I think so but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and those who are commenting and the likes and everything that I've received I, it just is very encouraging I just really appreciate it so thank you so much and I'll see you guys next week